Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, God, we bless you on tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. We glorify you, Lord. We lift you up and we praise your name. For you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the great I am, Heavenly Father. You are ready to be praised, Lord. And on tonight, Father God, we want to come before you, God, and give you all the salutations, God. We want to give you the highest accolades on tonight, Father God. We want to let you know on tonight, Father God, how much we love you, how much we adore you, and appreciate you, God. We want to tell you on tonight, Father God, that you mean any and everything to us, Father God, and so much more, Lord God. You are the apple of our eye and our very heart desire, God. And we worship you on tonight, Father God. Oh, God, we want to let you know that you are the great I am, Lord God. We know, Father God, that you are who you say you are, Father God. That you are the Alpha and Omega, Lord. That you are the beginning and the end. That you are the author and the finisher, God. And we praise your name today, Lord God. Oh, God, we want to tell you on tonight, Father God, that we know that you are the sole source provider and the way maker, Lord God. That you are our all, all in all, Lord God. And we just want to lift you up on tonight, God. Oh, Lord, we lift you up, we lift you up, we lift you up, God. Glory, hallelujah, we bless you, God. Glory, hallelujah, we praise you, God. Oh, God, we bless your name tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord. Oh, God, we just want to come before you on tonight, God, and take some time out to love on you, Lord God, and give you all those things that's required of us, Lord God, that we want to you, God, because we know that we don't tell you these things often enough, God. We don't express it out loud openly enough, Lord God. So, first and foremost, God, we want to love on you, God, because you love on us so much, Lord God. And we want to let you know on tonight, Father God, that we know that we recognize and understand, Father God, that you are, Lord God, that you are, Father God, in everything that we need, Father God, that you're the shelter, Lord God, that you're the provider, that you're the way maker, Lord God, and we just want to bless you, Lord God. You are the one, Father God. Who is the reason for it all, Lord God? The breath within our bodies, Lord God. The full functional activity of all the Bible limbs, Lord God. You are the one, Father God, who allowed us to be here in this existence on today, Father God. If it had not been for you, Lord God, Lord, we don't know what we'd do or where we'd be, Father God. We would not even be here, Lord. And we just want to bless you right now, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh God, we just want to lift you up, Lord God. We place you on the throne at the head of our life, the center of our hearts for you alone, Lord. That's what we desire for you to be, Lord God. Oh God, we bless you right now, Lord God. Father God, we want to open up to you, Lord God. We want to welcome you in, Lord God. We want to invite you to this space and this place that we are in, Father God, this moment of time, Lord God, and let you know that we are welcome, Father God. Oh God, in surrender, saturate the atmosphere, Father God. In surrender to our hearts and our minds, Lord God. Lord, in surrender right now, God, and meet us wherever that we are, Lord God, and have your way, Lord God. Oh God, we want to open up our hearts to you, Lord God, and if there be anything inside of us that's not like you, Lord God, anything in us, Lord God, keeping you from entering in, Lord God, we're asking that you would move it out the way, Lord God. Until there's nothing left with you, God, because we want to give you our best praise and worship on tonight, Father God. We want to worship you, Father God, in spirit and in truth, Father God. From the depths of our hearts and the pit sit peace of our souls, Father God, and all truth and the honesty, Lord God, because there's no other way to be, Father God. Lord, you said you'd rather have us hot or cold and not lukewarm, Father God. So on tonight, God, we want to be on fire for you, Lord God. We want our whole heart and soul, Father God, to be sold out for you, Lord God. And right now, God, we want to let you know that we worship you, Lord God. There's no God before you, God. No God equal to you, nobody that compared to you, Father God. That you are the one and only true and living God. You are the only one that we acknowledge, Lord God. It's not the universe, it's not the spirit, Lord God, but it is you. You are the spirit, Lord God. And on Tonight, we just want to bless your name, Lord God. Oh, God, we bow down and we worship you, Lord God. We humble ourselves before you right now, God. And we give you all of us, God, not pieces of us, Lord God. So right now, Lord God, we open up to you, Lord God. And we give it all to you, Lord God. That you may enter in and have your way, Lord God. Oh, God, we praise your name on tonight, Lord. Oh, God, you are so worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Father God. And you are greatly to be praised, Lord. And we just bless your name on tonight, Lord God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, God, we come before you, Father God, and we submit commit to you in all our ways, Lord God. We're giving you our yes on tonight, Father God. We're giving you our will on tonight, Father God, in exchange for yours, Lord God. We give you our plan, Father God, in exchange for your plan, because you have the grand master plan, Lord God. Oh, God, we give you all of us on tonight, Father God. And we know, Lord God, that's going to start with all of our stuff, Father God. We're going to give you, Father God, the powers, glories, and concerns, Lord God. The situations and the circumstances, Lord God. We want to empty all out to you, Father God. If you're heavy weight and heavy burden that we can, Father God, that you can enter into our hearts, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we're going to give you all that stuff, Lord God. It causes us to be cluttered up and jumbled up, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we're releasing all to you on tonight, Father God. Because we want to give you our best, Lord God. We want to give you our best because you deserve it, Lord God. And you always give us your very best, Father God. When you made the ultimate sacrifice, for us, it was you giving us your very best, God. It was you loving us so unconditionally and selflessly, Lord God. So on tonight, Father God, we want to release all these things that we can worship you, God. 
that we can praise you and glorify you, Lord God, that we can give you what's due unto you, Lord God. So we want to release it all on tonight, Father God. We want to give you all these things, Lord God. It's heavy on our heart and our mind, Lord God. We want to give you all these things, Lord God, that we have no control over, Lord God. We want to put it in your hands, Lord God. We want to put it in your hands, Father God, because our man has the best place to put it in, Lord God. We want to lay it at your feet, Father God, because we know with the confidence and the strength that you can take care of these things, Lord God. And we put it under our feet, Lord God, because we dare not allow these things to be exalted higher than you, Lord God. Oh God, we release it all to you right now, God. That our hearts can be hope, Lord God. Oh Lord, give us the heart of flesh and remove the stone in your heart, Lord God. That our heart will have some ground for some good ground, Father God, for you to put your seeds on, Lord God. That the seeds that you want us to have, Father God, will glow fresh and thrive, Father God. And all those things that are not like you, Lord God, we give you permission, Lord God, to take it all away, Lord God. Oh God, enter rain on tonight, Lord God. Because we need you, Lord God. We need you to clean us up, Lord God. We need you to wash us and purify us, Lord God, because we cannot do it on our own, Lord God. Oh Lord, we need your help on tonight, Lord God. We need your help on tonight, Father God, that these things that's not like you, Lord God, will be stripped away from us, Lord God, and be separated and severed on tonight, Lord God. So remove it all, Lord God. Take it all away, Father God, until there's nothing left with you, Lord God, that we may be able to give you all of us, Lord God, that we may be able, Father God, to choose and pick a side, Lord God, whether it's going to be hot or cold or not, lukewarm, Lord God. Oh God, help us on tonight, Lord God, because we truly want to get it right and be pleasing in your sight, God. We desire to make you smile and hear good and well done, my faithful servant, Lord God. So right now, God, we want to give it all to you, Lord God, that we can give you our very best because you deserve it, Lord God. Oh God, empty us out on tonight, Lord God. Tear down the walls and the barriers, Lord God. Tear down, Father God, the shackles and the chains on tonight, Father God. The old ties and the soul ties, God. Oh God, loose it all on tonight, Father God. Even help us, God, to unloose the hit, the hit, the hinges that we have put on our own sins, Lord God. But see, Lord God, to even help us, Lord God, to unyoke our own sins, Lord God. And to remove, Father God, those things that we put on ourselves, Father God, causing ourselves to be in the place, Lord. Oh God, we're asking for your help on tonight, Lord God. Because we want to be in that place that you want us to be, Father God. We want to walk in the light, Father God, and not be stuck in that place of darkness and sadness and depression, Lord God. We want our hearts to be open, Lord God, and our hearts are not all dark and hard, Lord God. And in the place, Father God, of resentment and bitterness and grudgingness and unforgiveness, Lord God. Oh God, we want to release all these things to you, God, because we want to be more like you, Lord God. And we want to be able to praise and worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. So God, help us to let go of these things and let remove these things, Lord God. And make us sober on today, Lord God. Oh God, let change begin to take place in our lives on today, Father God. In every area of our life, Father God. Because we know, Father God, we don't have it all together. But we're striving to get to that place of perfection in you, Lord God. And we want to be pleasing in your sight, Lord God. We want to bow down and worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. With the honesty, Father God. With the humble and meekness, Father God. On the inside of us, Lord God. That we will not be two-faced and double-minded, Lord God. That we won't be one way one moment, but one way another moment, Father God. We don't want to be lukewarm, Father God. We want to be on fire for you, Lord God. So help us on tonight, Lord God. Help us on tonight, Father God, to get rid of all this stuff that's not like you, Lord God. Because we want the more of you, Lord God. So we're to ring, Lord God. Enter in on tonight, Father God. Enter into our hearts and our minds, Lord God. Enter into the space and this place that we are in right now, God, and have your way. We welcome you, Lord God. Oh God, we give you full permission. We grant you access, Lord God, to come in right now, Lord God. Because we want to worship you, Lord God. And give it all to you, Lord God, because you deserve it all, Lord God. Oh Lord, we bless your name tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. So give us that heart of truth and honesty that we need, Father God. Give us that heart of remorse and repentance that we need, Father God. That we'll, we'll be willing and obey, Father God. That we'll not only just hear you, Lord God, but we'll listen, Father God. That we'll keep your commandments, Father God. That you'll do what you do what you have asked of us to do, Father God. What's required of us in every area of our life, Father God. And we will not even question it, Father God. But we will humble ourselves, God. And turn from our evil and wicked ways, Lord God. Oh, Lord, help us on tonight because we need you, Lord God. We cannot do it without you, Lord God. So enter in, Lord God. Oh, Lord, enter in, Lord God. And to each and every one of us, Father God. Oh, Lord, enter in right now, God. And to our situations and circumstances, Lord. Oh, God, I'm asking that you enter in on tonight, Father God. And insert yourself into the center of it all, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, that you're the sole source and the sole source and the center of all, Lord God. We know, Father God, as long as you are in the midst of it, Lord God, and everything will work out the way that it's supposed to be, Lord God. So, Father God, come in, Lord, and have your way, Lord God. 
Oh God, have your way tonight, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. Oh God, we welcoming you in, oh God. We welcoming you in right now, Father God, because we want to be in that space, in that place with you, Father God. That sacred in that safe place, oh God, because we know that nothing else can dwell there, Father God. Not no sickness, not no problems, worries or concerns, Father God, not no issues, Lord God, but we'll be in that place of peace and resting, Lord God. So Father God, take us there, Lord God, as we empty these things out to you, Lord God. Oh God, our hearts are open wide, Father God. Our hearts are open up to you, Father God, while your arms are stretched wide to us, Father God. Ready and waiting and willing to embrace us, Lord God. So Lord, Father, us on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, take us to that place, Lord God. That we'll have some peace and some rest in, Lord God. That we'll not be anxious, Lord God. We'll not be in a place of worry, Father God. We'll not be in a place of uncertainty, Lord God. Because there's no worry and no uncertainty in you, Father God. You're a God of clarity and understanding. So I'm asking on tonight that you would touch us on tonight, Father God. That we can enter into that place in you, Father God. And that we'll rest in you, God. And that we'll have that peace that we need within, Lord God. Oh, Lord, Father, us on tonight, God. Be our shepherd on tonight, Lord. Lead us, God, to show us the way on tonight, Father God. Because your way is the best way, God. And there is no other way, Lord God. Your way is right and everything else contrary to it is wrong, Lord God. So, Lord, help us on tonight, Father God. Continue, Lord God, to order our footsteps and direct our path, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to show us the way that you want us to go, Father God. So, direct us, Lord God. Instruct us on tonight, God. Chastise us, rebuke us, Lord God. Whatever it is that you need us to do, Father God. Whatever it is that you need to do, Father God, to help us, Lord God, to do what require of us, oh God, to give us the heart of acceptance, oh God. Give us the heart of acceptance of these things, God, that we know that you do it all out of love, Father God. Not to harm us, to hurt us, oh God, but to help us, Father God, to stay the way that you want us to be, oh God. So God, we need you on tonight, Lord. We need you, we need you, we need you on tonight, Father God. And we acknowledge you, Lord God, for knowing, Father God, that you are our teacher, Lord God. And without you, Lord God, we will not know right from wrong, Father God. It is you, Lord God, who allows your word to be instilled on the inside of us, Lord God. It is you, Father God, who teaches us, Father God, what it is to do and what not to do, Father God. So, Lord, help us, Lord God, to keep your commandments, Father God, to keep your word, Father God. Let it be written on the tables of our heart and bound about our neck, Father God. It will take a risk wherever that we go, Father God. Oh, God, continue to help us to regard those things that you tell us, Lord God, and not be in a place of disregarding, Father God, and omitting the things that you say, Father God, or picking and choosing what we want to do and how we want to do it, Father God, perverting your word, Father God. Com compromising, Lord God. Just taking it bit by bit, Father God, not doing the whole road, Father God. Oh God, help us on tonight, Father God, because we just want to please you, God. Oh God, we live to serve you, Father God, and we want to get it right in every area and every way, Lord God. So help us on tonight, Lord God. Help us on tonight, Lord God. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we need you, God. Your people need you, Father God, in more ways than one, Father God. In some form of fashion, Father God, in every area of our life, Father God, because we can't do this thing called life without you, Lord God. Oh, God, enter in, Lord God, as we praise and worship you, Lord God, from our heart soul tonight, Father God, as we give you all these things that's not like you, Lord God, that you can wash us and polish us, Lord God, that you can make us sober on tonight, Lord God, that you can allow some things inside of us to be reconstructed, reconstructed and rearranged, Lord God, that you can allow some things in our lives, Father God, to be rearranged and reorganized, Lord God, that it will be the way that you have designed for it to be, Lord God. Oh God, enter in. Enter in on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, enter in, Lord God. Enter in, Jesus. Hallelujah, we thank you tonight, Lord God. Glory to your name, Lord, we bless you tonight, Lord God. We worship you, God, we worship you, God, we worship you, God. Oh, God, we give you all the glory on tonight, Father God. Oh, Lord, we give you all the accolades and salutations on tonight, Father God. You are deserving of the Lord God, but we willingly give it to you on tonight, Lord God. We bless your name tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we have not told you thank you enough, Father God, and often as we should, Father God. And if we didn't tell you on last night, Father Father God, or throughout our day, we have not expressed it, Lord God. Oh God, we love you, Lord. We adore you, Father God, and we appreciate you, Lord God. Oh Lord, continue to move by your spirit, Father God. Continue to keep us on one accord and in unison, Father God, in you, Lord God, that we'll be on one accord and in unison, Father God, together, Father God, in this land and in this nation, Lord God. Oh God, continue to touch us on today, Father God, and save that spirit of division, Lord God. Lord, continue to allow your love, Father God, to dwell on the side of our hearts and in this nation and this land, Father God, that we can continue to come together collectively, Father God, for the building of your kingdom, Lord God. Oh Lord, touch us on tonight, Father God, that we can be one in you, Father God. With so many, so many things, Father God, going on the lives of your people, Father God, as causing division, Father God, in your people in this nation, Lord God, not just in the families, 
Father God, but across this world and this land, Father God. And I'm asking on tonight, Father God, to sever that spirit of division, oh God, that you deal with, help us to deal with these things that cause us to be in a place, Father God, and want to be segregated, Father God, not wanting to come together, Father God. Help us on tonight, Father God, to recognize the rights of the enemy, oh God, because we know, Father God, that he wants to make a mockery, Father God, and anything, Father God, that has to do with you, Father God. And he wants anything, Father God, that is of you, Father God, to be destroyed and torn down, Lord God. So God, I'm asking right now, Lord God, that you remove the scales of our eyes, God, and uncork our ears, Lord God, that we will hear the spirit of the same the church, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking right now, God, should touch our minds and regulate our minds on today, Father God, that we'll have the right perspective, Lord God, and the right way of thinking, Father God, and that we'll see things, Father God, the way that you want us to see them on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, help us on tonight, Father God. Lord, expose these things in our lives, Father God. These things they think they are hidden, Father God. Even those those wolves and sheep clothing us tonight, Father God. Lord, expose it all, God. And give us a heart of acceptance, oh God. Because some of these things, Father God, may put us in a place of feeling uncomfortable or disappointed, Father God, or sad, Lord God. But I'm asking on tonight, Father God, to give us a heart of acceptance of these things, oh God, because you know what's best for us, oh God. You know who's needed and who's not, Father God. And you know, Father God, where we belong, Father God, where we don't belong, Father God. Where we need to go and where we don't need to go, Lord God. So help us on tonight, Father God. Lord, lead us, Lord God, because we don't know how to lead our own souls, Lord God. Help us tonight, Father God, not even Father God to follow our own hearts, Father God, because you said that's the foolish ways of a man, Lord God. So, Lord, I'm asking on tonight that you would help us to see our way, God, because we don't know the way, Lord God. Lord, you have the grand master plan, Father God, and we should not follow our own, Lord God. So, on tonight, Father God, we are open up to you, Lord God, in every area of our life, Lord God, and we welcome you in, Lord God, that you may have your way, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we bless you tonight, Lord. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. We lift you up right now, God, and we give you the praise, Lord God. We bow down and we worship you, Lord God. You are our God, you are our King, you are our everything, Lord God. And we just want to thank you, Lord. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God. So right now, Lord God, I'm asking that you forgive us for our sins and all our wrongdoings, Lord God, knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. If we have said anything, Father God, if we have done anything, Father God, if our ways have not pleased you, Lord God, if our thoughts, Father God, have been running too wild and rapid with us, Lord God, Lord, forgive us of these things, Lord God. We come before you right now, God, with the heart of remorse and repentance, Father God, and ask that you would help us to get it right, Lord God. Help us, Father God, to see the error in our ways, Lord God, and help us to change and correct these things because we cannot do it on our own, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we need you, Father God. Lord, I ask right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you continue to touch all of our loved ones, Father God, that we call out by name and prayer each and every day, Father God. Lord, touch our loved ones, Lord God, that we uplift up to you, Father God, that's going through grief, Father God, from a loss of a loved one, Father God. As they are about to prepare to soon lay them to rest, Lord God. Lord, touch the families, Lord God. Strengthen the children, Lord God. Strengthen the spouses on today, Father God. And anybody else that's connected to them on today, Father God. Wrap your loving arms around them on tonight, Father God. They will be uplifted up in spirit, Father God, in strength, Lord God. They will be uplifted up in spirit, Father God, in encouragement, Lord God. That they'll be lifted up in the spirit, Father God, in love on tonight, God. Lord, they need the more of your love on tonight, Father God. They will not be in the place of sadness and depression, Father God, and feeling overwhelmed, Father God, and feeling like there's so many things going on. Father God, they can't get a grasp on life, God. I'm asking that you would step in, Lord God, and cause things to fall in place, Father God, for them to be in a place of peace, Father God, that peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. Oh God, touch on tonight, Lord God. Oh Father God, I'm asking right now that you continue to touch the men, Lord God, continue to touch the women, Lord God, continue to touch the children of tonight, Father God, and touch those God who don't know who they identify as and let them know, Father God, who you have made and created them to be, Father God. If they are a man, they are a man. If they are a woman, they are a woman, Lord God. Oh God, touch on tonight, Father God, let your people not be in a place of confusion, Father God. Not just in their identities, Father God, but in this life, Father God. Not knowing, Father God, that they are your children, that they are your sons and daughters, Father God. Let them know once like on Father God that you have handpicked them, that you chose them, Lord God. And you already wrote their story, Lord God. You already mapped it out, Father God. You know each and every step of the way, Father God. And you know their end, Lord God. Let them know on today, Father God, that Life is not over, Father God. Let them know once today, Father God, there's more in store for them, Father God. So let them not be in a place, Father God, of wanting to give up, Lord God. Let them not be in a place, Father God, of just simply wanting to give it, give up and give in and throw the towel in, Lord God. Let them know, Father God, the enemy is already defeated, Father God, and that you have already won it for us, Lord God. So let them know once tonight, God, that they are victorious, Lord God. That they are more than conquerors, Lord God. That they are mighty through the pulling down of strongholds, Lord God. That they have the power, Lord God. So God, I'm asking right now to activate the power that's on the inside of them, God. Activate the power that's on inside of all of us, oh God, because we don't always, Father God, use that power that you have given us, oh God. Let them know, Father God, they have the power to declare and decree some things, God, to denounce some things, Father God. Let them know on, on tonight, Father God, they have, they have the power, Father God, to speak to some things, Father God, speak over some things, and call some things 
into the reality into future, future on tonight, Father God. Oh Lord, touch your people on tonight, Father God. And let them know on today, Father God, they have a choice, Father God. They can choose, Father God, to allow some things to begin to change inside of their life, Father God. Let them know on tonight, Father God, they have a choice, Father God, to allow some things, Father God, to begin anew and afresh on today, Father God. If only they allow you to enter in, oh God. So Lord, touch their hearts, Father God. And let them ponder and consider and reflect, Father God, on how much they need you, Lord God. And they'll, they'll surrender all and say yes to you, Lord God. And it will submit, commit to you in all their ways, God. Oh God, touch the people, Lord God, all across this nation, Father God. No South, East, and West, Father. Every man, every woman, every child, every boy, Father God. Every age group, Lord God, and every ethnicity, Lord, touch them on tonight, Father God. Lord, touch the people on tonight, Father God, from the government system, Father God, all the way down to the courtroom, Lord God. And everything in between, Lord God. Lord, touch the jailhouse, Lord God. Touch the prisons, Lord God. Touch the prison wards on tonight, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus that you to touch the correction officers, Lord God. Lord, I'm even asking that you will go to Strickland on tonight, Father God. Lord, touch those children that are in Strickland, Lord God. I'm asking right now in the name of Jesus, God, they will make a begin make a choice to change, Father God. They will not continue, Father God, to repeat the same thing over and over again, Father God, to put themselves in position to put them in the place that they are in right now, Father God. But when they are released, Father God, they have. They have a chance, Father God, to begin a new life, Lord God. I'm going to ask that you will meet them there on tonight, Father God. And when they come out, God, that they have a new perspective on life, Father God. And they will be respected to authority figures, Lord God. And they, Father God, will be humble, Lord God. Oh, Lord, touch on tonight, Father God. All the pregnant women on tonight, Father God. Those who are about to deliver, Father God. And those, Father God, who, are trying to, who have tried to conceive and they have, they have doubts, Father God, about continue to carry throughout their prayers, Lord God. Let them know on tonight, Father God, that you have allowed life to grow in their womb, Father God, that you allow their life, Father God, to continue to go on, Lord God. It's all according to your will and your purpose, Lord God, for which you have preordained and predestined for, Lord God. So let them not be in a place of fear, Father God, or losing their pregnancies, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking right now that those who are about to deliver, Lord God, that you are helping to have a safe delivery, Father God, that the mother and the baby, Father God, will come out, Father God, and 100% good health, Father God, with no complications, Lord God. Oh God, touch on tonight, Father God. All the hospitals, Lord God. Those lying on their sick beds, Lord God. Those, Father God, who may be in a comatose state, Lord God. Breathe life back in them, Father God, according to your will, Father God. You are a God of life, Father God. You give life, Father God. And you are the one, Father God, who puts a time when life is over, Lord God. So, Lord, if it be in your will, Father God, bring them back, Father God. Restore their, pro restore their proper bodily function of today, Father God. And even their minds of today, Father God. Those who have suffer with a stroke on today, Father God. Lord, I'm going to ask that you will bring them back, Father God, and put them in their right state of mind, Father God. Let them regain their function on tonight, Father God. Let them regain their speech, their speech, their strength, and their independency on tonight, Father God, and that they, Father God, will live their life for you in totality, Father God. They will know it was you, Father God, who made them whole and complete, Lord God. Oh, Lord, touch on tonight, Father God. There's so many people that need you, Lord God. So right now, Father God, I stand together and I intercede for all the people across this nation, Father God, because we all need you, Lord God. Lord, we needed you more now than ever before, Father God. We need you more right now, Father God, in this moment in time, Father God, because so many things are going on, Father God, but we know, Lord God, as long as we have you, Lord God, everything will be okay, God. So we're asking that you intervene right now, Lord God. Enter into our homes and our lives and our situations and circumstances, God, and have your way, God. Have your way, God. Oh, God, intervene, Lord God. Oh, God, we just want to let you know once tonight that we love you, that we adore you, and appreciate you, Father God, for all that you are to us, Lord God, for everything you stand for and represent, God. You mean so much to us, Lord God, and we just bless you on tonight, Father God. Oh, God, I want to tell you that we love you, Father God, simply for who you are, Father God. It's not the stuff, Father God, but it's simply because of you and the way that you love us, God, because you love us first, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to be able to have that one-on-one -on -one communication with you, Lord God, for allowing that love and that hunger and that thirst inside of us to grow even more for you every day, Father God, because without you, Lord God, our life has no worth in the value, Father God. Without you, Lord God, we are nothing, Father God. It's all because of you, Lord. It's all because of you, Father God. And right now, Father God, we give you credit for credit is due, Father God. Because if it had not been for you, Lord God, none of these things would be possible, Lord. Oh God, I bless your name, Lord God. Father God, I ask right now that you continue, Father God, to touch Harvest Town Missions and National, Father God. Continue to touch our pastor, Father God. Continue, Lord God, to even touch each and every person, Father God, who have not been there in a while, Father God. 
I'm asking that you will meet them where they are as well today, Father God. And I'm just asking, Father God, that you would touch, touch, touch on tonight, Father God. Heal your people on tonight, Father God. Deliver them, Lord God, and set them free, Lord God, like only you can do, Lord God. And I thank you in advance for doing so, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I'm asking that you would touch every prayer on the prayer wall, Father God, and every prayer on the altar in the altar box, Lord God. That you consider the prayers, Lord, and answer them, Father God. Those spoken and unspoken, Lord God. You could translate all the way that the prayers are being sent up, Father God. Whether they be in a tear, Father God. Whether they be in a scream or a moan, Father God, and even in the silence, Lord God, you can translate all of that, Father God, so hear the prayers on tonight, Father God, consider them and answer them, Lord God, according to your will, your purpose, and your time, Father God, I pray all of these things, Lord, Lord, continue to help your people stay fully on the honor, watch what is praying, Father God, let them not leave out their homes, Father God, or go anywhere, Father God, without being fully on the honor, Father God, let them stand on guard and stand on post, Lord God, and watch what is pray, Father God, and give the enemy no any, any room to enter in, Father God, not even a pinhole, Lord God, continue to help us to Recognize the vice of the enemy, Lord God. And we thank you that you did not allow anything to come upon us underwear, Lord God. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord. Father God, hear these prayers tonight. Consider them and answer them, Lord God. Hear the heart's cry of the people, Lord. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen.